it's a question that I've thought about and um, the idea of that men and women, I mean, it's such a powerful question, it's such a powerful um, vision, right? Um, you could see it being transformed in the sense of, presumably then, I would hope that questions of violence would go away, right? Questions of inequality, discrimination, that is based in this in gender inequality, those things would go away. And in a sense, I mean, maybe it has to do with our vision of a world in which a gender doesn't matter. In other words, if it really is equal, then possibly we can see the multiplicity of gender, right? Rather than um, a few genders, two genders, or three or four. Mm -hmm. um, it's interesting, you know, it, it makes me think of the question of kin-based societies, mm -hmm. that even when anthropologists have done that kind of research, what has been consistent is that societies are always divided by gender. Um, so the, this idea of uh, it, the idea of a genderless society, as far as we know, does not exist. So my point over here is where, if there were to be gender e equality, it's not that we would go to a genderless society, but that gender could really proliferate in ways that are enabling to people, right? Rather than something that is restricted to two or three. So in terms of expressions of ourselves, um, I think that would be a monumental change. Um, but even in terms of structural issues, structural inequality, structural violence, um, domestic violence, but also violence that you know exists in the form of communities of women um, being somehow outside of um, development, technology, modernization, all of the things mm -hmm. that we hold to be really you know sort of the the promises of progress for them to be systematically remaining outside of this. I mean, so the structural as well as the interpersonal would change tremendously. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's how we see it changing.